What's up, everybody? I just want to cut right to the chase um, suddenly because I have a very strong urgency to get this video out. And um, so a few days ago, I received a message from the Lord. And um, it's till now that I'm starting to feel in a very high urgency to hurry up and share this message. I prayed about it and, I'm, and, then, and it's like I needed to go. Okay, so here it is. Just cut right to the chase. So here it is. Um, on November 9th, 2019, around 6 p.m., I had a sudden urge to go into deep prayer. And after I finished my prayer, the Lord spoke to me through the Holy Spirit. So here's my testimony. After I got back to work, um, after I got back home from work, I was very exhausted. In fact, I'm actually reading it up here so because I wrote everything down. I was very exhausted. In fact, I was frustrated and even lashed out at one of my own co co-workers because of my emotion. But when I got home, I had to humble myself, and I realized that I what I had that what I had done was wrong. And so I went in a prayer, asking God for His forgiveness. I asked Him um, to please fill me with His love and His peace, and 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 forgive me for my sins. And 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 I thank God for getting me out of that that situation. And after I after that prayer ended, after I pray, that prayer ended. I suddenly began to talk to myself, all right? So I began to talk to myself, and it got to a point where I started talking from a different perspective. And then I couldn't control what I was saying at all. Like, I was just talking and talking and talking. And I could think. And when I realized I was speaking in tongues and that the Lord was speaking to me, um, I couldn't help but to quiet down my mind and listen to the Lord. So in the Spirit, God said this to me, okay? Listen up. This is what he said. He said, I am the Alpha and Highest of all High Omega, and even I can't explain how much I love you. I love you so much, and for the faith of my people, I will give them everything. I even love you so much that I gave my only son so that you all will, so that all you guys have to do is believe in him, and you may be saved. And, he, and then he told me this. He said, please tell my people about my love so that they don't leave me like a third of my own angels did long ago. I gave them everything and they left me. Tell my people so they do not leave me too. I love you so much. And with authority, the Lord said to me, I am almost here. Warn my people, I am coming. Endure in faith and I will bring you home with me. Tell my people that the door is about to open upon the earth. And the thing is, is, is God has loved us so much that he knows how corrupt this world is, y'all. And he, he's given us everything. He made it clear to me as well that he does not want to be a dictator. And he told me this. So the uh, Lord also told me this. He said, you are my children. I'm coming to take you home because this earth is not your home. I love you so much that I made your spirit out of my own so that even though I am in heaven and you will walk upon the earth, that we can always be together. And I cannot wait to take you home so that I can finally hold you in my arms and show you how much I love you. I can't wait to see you. And so I can finally in person tell you that I love you and I will hold you and, and stay with you forever and I will never let go. And these are the things that the Lord has told me, you know, uh, the Lord gave the Lord loves us enough that he allowed us to have our own mind and he has allowed us to be able to make our own choices in life. And he has even given up his only son so that we can be accepted into his kingdom. So God also told me this. He also told me, remember that fall of Lucifer. I gave him the choice and freedom of mind to do what he wanted because I loved him. And because he became so defiant that he even corrupted a third of my angels, I still loved him enough to let him go. Him as well as a third, as my, a third of my angels left me. I, lived, I, li, I, li, I loved them enough to let them go because I did not want any more of my angels to leave me because of evil. So I had to let them go. Even though Lucifer himself defied God, God still loved him enough to let him go because Satan made his choice and God has given us everything. So then also after that, God also told me, I am prepared to glorify my people in my own kingdom. I have prepared the finest and purest linen as well as rewards and crowns of righteousness for my people. I have done the labor to satisfy my people in heaven. In my kingdom, you will even wear the same purified and glorified linen of my son and be rulers in my kingdom forever. All you have to do is follow my commandments and believe in my son who has died on the cross for your sins so that you can experience the kingdom of glory. 
So God has given glory to everyone but himself. And that is also what makes him worthy of all the glory. He wants us all to have his love to the point that he's even given us the easiest invitation to his kingdom. Just like it famously says in the book of John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he has given his only begotten Son, so that he who believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And he has given us everything, and all we have to do, y'all, everything, like all we have to do is believe. I'm telling y'all, this is what he told me. Amen. So the Lord spoke to me, and he said, he told me, he said, he said my name. He said, Kelton, tell my people about my love so that, so that, they too may be saved. Tell my people that I am ready. I have finished building your place in my kingdom. My horse is prepared. The crowns are prepared. The trumpet has been tuned. And I am waiting at the door. He is at the door. He said, Tell my people that the trumpet is about to sound. Tell my people I am on my way to take you home. And bless are those who believe and endure to the end. I am coming quickly. So then the Lord spoke, said to me that because now I know what I know and since God has told me what's coming and that he has shown me his love, that if I do not let his people know about his love, I would, I would be punished for this. If I, did, if I do not tell you all this, I would be punished. For if I do not share this testimony, that means I've done the devil's work by keeping my mouth closed and that closing my mouth, knowing what I know, gives me no excuse. So that, y'all, that is why I'm sharing this with you. Please take this to heart because like this, he loves us so much he, he can't wait to take us in the kingdom. And that should tell us how urgent this message is. I feel a very powerful sense of urgency right now. That's just why I'm recording right now. Um, I was actually going to wait till this weekend, but God said, no, you, you need to hurry up and do it now. So um, my confirmation number is 659, which means your positive attitude towards making important changes in your life has brought you in direct alignment with your true divine life mission as a light worker. So y'all, that's my testimony. Please share it. Please like take it to heart. Understand Jesus is coming soon. Heaven is real. Hell is real. I got more videos coming. Don't worry about that. I got more stuff coming. Just stay vigilant. Um, keep occupying. Keep your faith in the Lord and, and, and keep praying. Pray up. Repent. It's The time is very near, y'all. And I'm only 17. And you know, in, in, in the end times, the Bible prophecies talk about how people of young age will begin to prophesy. Well, those, prophesy those prophecies are being fulfilled right now. So you got to really pay attention to it. All right. So that's my testimony. I hope it helped y'all. I help it. I hope it helped encourage y'all. I hope y'all realize how serious and how quick and urgent this message is. And and God bless all y'all. Amen. Shalom. Peace out. More videos to come. Thank you very much. I'm out.